Hi guys, it's Peter. Today I decided uh, to introduce you more uh, features about the DAG app. So as I added several uh, new features into the app and it's really showing great results and promising results or not only from testing but also from the real play. So I decided to make a few minutes quick guide about the app for you to understand how it works and maybe if you decide to also purchase it from my website ruatforliving.com then this might be a really helpful guide for you to understand what you can expect from the app and how you can set up for your testing and later real money play i will not spend much time about how the money management works because you know it from other apps which i already developed just quickly to say risk reward ratio it means here so either here you have a how many let's say progressions you won and how many you lost session bankroll which is going one session is if you are going through the progression in this example we have only eight spins and one level so eight spins is your session bankroll calculated bankroll overall which is something what we really care a lot because if it is in plus this is what we want to achieve right playing online roulette phantom bankroll is also a little bit showing you what happened in the past if you went through the some kind of drawdown it's also keeping the phantom bankroll until it's uh, again zero or if it is in slide minus so app might be providing you a higher base but based on the drawdown it's it's clear simply how much you went down during your sessions and maximum session base bet so this is maximum bet which you used it's i think the one of the best feature you can utilize if you are testing so here i'm setting my maximum base bet so i'm saying the app will never bet more than three units per number and if you run enough spins you might have already here also three simply saying this was a maximum base bet right for your check spins means how many spins you want to play the progression levels if you want to have two three levels or one and it's multiplying together with spins so this is this is your progression which is measured in the risk growth ratio progression aggressiveness so four percent means and how fast your base bet will grow if you are going through the progression because for example if you are playing four numbers you know that after eight spins you have to increase a base bet if you want to be in profit if you hit your number base bet it's clear i'm using 20 cents can be also changed to one or any value which you like maximum base bet we already talked about and the variance for average is a coefficient with which i actually multiply my base but if i lose this progression right if this in this case eight spins is my progression if i lose eight spins i will multiply my base bet for example one with one from average and the next bet would be two in this case so entering numbers you can also test and uploading your if you have spins in text files you can do that rng button is for testing purposes only please never press the button if you are in a real play because this will generate for example in this case 15 numbers for testing right so it's just for testing purposes and here you have a session base bet so how much you should bet per number and session spins so if you have eight spins here and you are playing so it's showing one two three how many spins simply you play from the session out of this eight right and i think interesting part is here and i will spend a little bit time here because these are the new features and what i am going to t share with you regarding this money management setup and certain setups here this is showing really really great results so how it works so i'll start with this field number 10 is a number of all fixed patterns which you are going to use fixed pattern is like 1 11 21 31 or for example 0 10 20 30 this is a fixed pattern in total i'm working with 10 fixed patterns starting from 0 up to numbers 9 we know the numbers ending 9 like 9 19 and 29 there are only three therefore i added also 28 because such a combination works fine also the same for number star ending seven or eight right so but in total always betting on four numbers and therefore you have 10 patterns in total and number eight shows i'm measuring in a certain spins back how many patterns out of this 10 appeared so which means number eight says then eight patterns out of this 10 
shown in the last, in this case, 15 spins. I'm measuring now, current setup is 15 spins, right? So I'm saying eight patterns out of 10 came in a 15 spins. So one pattern is, for example, ending zero, three, two, seven, and so on, right? And here are the conditions. So you can say, okay, I don't wanna play always and all the time. I wanna play only if this indicator is saying then in the last 15 spins, nine or even 10 patterns hit, which means you are saying the numbers distribution is going smoothly as it should based on the probability and the statistics, right? Therefore, you are saying if currently I have eight out of 10, I don't wanna play. I wanna wait once I have a nine or 10 patterns out of 10 in last 15 spins hit, and then I wanna start my betting session. It is a really great feature and it really works quite well, especially with this money management setup. It's not aggressive setup. You can see I'm playing only eight spins. If I lose eight spins, I multiplying my base bet with variance from average and continue, right? So, but it's also not, not like then you would be going through the huge drawdowns. You can, of course, something really bad can happen and you are not hitting three, four times in a row with your space spins with your eight spins but also you have a maximum base bet so you can limit for example even to two you don't want to bet more than two per number it's all up to you right based on your testing and so on but this setup shows really great let's say results it's not always growing bankrupt but also many times ending up in a plus even if you are running 500 spins and more so and important is also this setup so if you would set up here for example zero and five then you are saying I want to play my bay, my my session, if zero is actually not the case because this will never happen. So you will always have some patterns hitting in the last 15 spins. But we are saying if la in the last 15 spins, the complete statistics is broken on this roulette table because only between one up to five fixed pattern came and out of 10, which is not normal because you should have, let's say, better distribution of numbers than, which means, for example, you are hitting only 30, 20, 10, 0, and maybe 20 to 12 and something from 7, and that's more or less like that. So in this case, table would be repeating really, really a lot of numbers, and this is not good setup where you normally want to play. So you can always test it, of course, you can give it a try and see what's happening. It's all up to you. You can try it and see what is best working for you. But in my case, I, I find out and from so far, my best setup is nine to 10. But as I said, you can really try it. Like for example, seven to eight patterns hitting in last 15 spins out of 10 and see what happens, right? What, what works best for you. But this is really great filter and smoothing feature for my roulette play. An array pick, I already explained, this zero to nine means you have 10 fixed patterns available. And you can say, I wanna pick the absolute top one. It's measured really complicated way. And there is a, let's say, I would say really long source code written for this, uh, how to sort the fixed patterns from zero to nine. In general, you can try with, for example, zero and see what happens or one simply you have a sorted array of fixed patterns always all 10 are sorted and you are taking from this array these patterns on a certain position right and what works really good for me is either zero simply it's it's a top top pattern fixed pattern on the top of the array or as i said i'm also currently having a success with position number six it's like a level number six in a sorted array of these fixed patterns, right? This setting really works quite well for me. You can test anything what you want and what you believe might be really good and functional for you. It's up to you. But as I said, currently I'm playing the most with this setup and this money management and it's showing really great results so far. So I hope this will stay like that. I can press some can generate some random numbers and see whether we can receive also the prediction now it is you can see 
we have in last 15 spins 9 out of 10 patterns came and we received based on the sorted array on level 6 prediction to bet on these four numbers so you are betting eight spins these four numbers if success then you will see it here if not you will see that here and you are multiplying your base bet until you reach your maximum base bet which you also can set up right you can try it but I, as i said with these features additional features i have really i would say very stable and interesting profit results so i hope this momentum will stay like that and i'm really looking forward to other new sessions on the roulette table so thank you very much for watching and see you soon